time for heat number three then. Senior mediums and senior lights make their way out. This is the Collier's Crane Hire Championship round number six. And time for heat three of the senior lights and senior mediums. Out they all come. Hyde, Mullins, Jacoby, Walker, Lusty, Matthews, Goodchild, Edwards, Summers, Baguli, George, Daly, Hay, and guess who's at the back with a fresh engine? Mark Walker. So he's gonna do it from the rear. Mitch Walker is on that second row, is he? Along with the, uh, the Rockets. Hyde, Mullins, and Jacoby. Looking to see where he should be, actually. I think he's, um, I think he's one place further up than he should be. All right, getting ready to go then. Pretty sure. We've got one of those carts, not where it should be. We're almost ready to go though. Just about formed up and ready. Round they come there, and the green flag is in the hands of the starter. Senior medium, senior lights. Heat three, green light racing, and away we go. Up the hill they go. Oh, Mullins got a cracker. Is that Walker getting after him? I think it is. I'm not seeing a transponder name for him, so we'll just see if that is indeed him when he looks over the shoulder and sees who's behind him. That's a light cart. So he is in the thick of this action big time. Over the line they go. Mullins it is who leads. Jacob has gone second. Walker it was up there. Lust is now gone third. Walker's down to four. Behind Walker. Edwards, good job. Matthews, Baguli, Summers, George, Cavallaro. Mark Walker's up to 12. Hey, Daly, Paddy, Hyde is not there. Where is Hyde? We have lost the winner in the first two. He's gone. So a drama for Hyde. And he is not out there. So unbeknown to me, Jake Hyde has not appeared in heat number three. Huge upset. So now it's down to those two lights left in the race. And they are Mullins and Jacoby, who are slugging it out as Lusty is getting after this. And this time Lusty making his, uh, his presence felt and Mitch Walker this time is behind him and unable to shut the door. So this time Lusty has done exactly what he needed to do, get out in front first, and he is holding Mitch Walker at bay at the moment, nice and comfortably, and in fact, Jacoby is holding him up to the tune of a 10th because he's got him. Lusty goes through on Jacoby. That is a light cart he just got past. Lusty up into P2 on track and has put a cart between him and Mitch Walker. Behind them, Matthews, Edwards, Goodchild, Baguli, Summers, Cavallaro. Marky Walker's up to 11 now. Where is Walker? There is Marky, here he comes. Work to do. Up in front of him, that's a, a move. On Baguli on Summers, I think. As they head through, they are behind Goodchild. It was indeed a move. And Baguli making his presence felt too. So Baguli got that done. And Baguli now charging up after Goodchild. Goodchild now looks over the shoulder. Got time at the moment for Summers. Summers is there. They are catching Summers. Baguli's nearly caught him already. Cavallaro has gone with him. Mark Walker is almost there. It's going to be a four-way very soon indeed. Down to the double apex they go. Holding on still. And Baguli closing in fast. Bringing Cavallaro with him. Mark Walker right there. Just about hanging to the pack and through the skid pound they go. Behind them. Hey, George, Paddy, Daly. 
through they head, through Wynnum Haulage. Daly at the back at the moment. That's not Daly, that's the number nine. That was their Paddy, then Daly, there's Daly. Now the leader's already coming back towards me. Mullins it is from Lusty. Walker's now behind him again. Walker behind Lusty. Remember their battle in the last one. It went to the wire. That time Lusty couldn't get past Walker. This time Walker's going to try and find a way past Lusty. And Lusty will hold on. Still he holds on on lap number nine. Remember this is 20, so half race distance just about now. Lusty, Walker, Jacoby, through they go. Matthews goes through. Good child. Whoa. Good child. Give me the ding dong with Edwards. Then behind them, Summers, Baguli, Cavallaro, Walker, Hay, George, Paddy. Then Daly, and they're about to catch Daly. Mullins will be first to him. Here comes Mullins. First to the back markers. Oh, Mullins just struck that inside curve. Lusty holds on. Jacob is going to second wind. Sander is after Mitch Walker. Jacoby, up the hill he comes. Oh, they go through the back marker, freezing through there. 100 kilometers an hour down the hill. Quickly over the skid pan into Wyndham Hall. He's deep on the brakes. Lusty holds Walker at bay. Jacoby's right there. They got past the back marker. Then it's still Matthews, Edwards, Goodchild, Summers. Baguli, Cavallaro. Marky Walker just struggling for pace in this one. Back to Hay. Behind Hay is George and Paddy. Then, oh no, gone around. Back marker. Oncoming traffic. Gets out of the way. Does Paddy. Just turn it around. And unfortunately go to the back of the field. Oh, over the dust on the inside. That was in front of uh, Marky Walker. That battle still raging. Cavallaro, Baguli and Summers. Summers has just got the gap at the moment. Cavallaro though, trying to get past. And still Baguli holds. Baguli holds him. Still holds Cavallaro though, right there into the skid pan. That is now 13 laps completed. There's Marky Walker continuing. Behind him, hey, whoa, no, big slide in front of him. Big, big slide somewhere. Here comes your leader. Whoa, up the inside. Walker, he's gone through. Walker's gone through on Lusty. He's got it done. Mitch Walker yet again in front of Lusty. Now Lusty's got work to do. Check it, flag. That is it. It's done. Mullins wins from Lusty who's second on track and wins his class. Then Mitch Walker, followed by Jacoby, Matthews, Goodchild, Edwards, Summers, Baguli, Gavallaro, then Walker, then Hay, then George, then Daly, then Paddy. Hyde never came out, but well done to Caleb Mullins. A cracker win. And Lusty is recorded winning in front of Mitch Walker. Then Zander Jacoby was second in the lights. What another cracker.